are heating up the show now with this warm and comforting and hearty and perfect for any milled chili. Joining us now in the kitchen with the recipe is Ada Woodward. It's so good to see you back. Thank Before you. I jump in with you, we have to ask Lindsay because she's joining us now in the kitchen. Do you cook? Hey, I will say I've gotten a little bit better, but I'm all about simple, like attainable recipes. I'm not pulling out like the 35 ingredient recipes. So I feel right. like this is going to be right up my alley and Perfect. I'm so grateful for that. Oh, good. I'm yes. so glad you're here. This I'm is so exciting. excited. It smells amazing. Well, I already want to eat it all. Okay. Okay. Not only that, Ada is all about eating for your health. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Where did that start? Because I feel like for me, I want that. But how do you start? Where does that, like, where do you even go with that? Well, it all started with a girl who was very heavy and overweight and had problems with her cholesterol wow. and uh, a history of type 2 diabetes in the family and heart disease. Wow. So I was just looking before the show uh, at some of my before pictures when I was in my late 30s and early 40s. And I was about 60 pounds heavier than I am now. And I was able to lose the weight, but I wasn't able to maintain the weight. So what I found about eating a whole food plant-based way is that you can easily maintain your health and your weight by just eating this food. It's that. amazing. So she wrote the book, Eat Like Your Life Depends On It, because you mean it. It yeah, really it does. does. And today's recipe is in the book? Yes, it is. Okay, let's talk our viewers All through right. it. How do we it's start? It's super, so super simple. It may seem like a few ingredients, but they're very basic. And this is something you can prep ahead of time, like yeah. the night before. Oh, I'm all Throw about Throw it that. in the crock pot and good to go. I'm all about 30-minute okay. dinners is my yes. style. So any prep work so I need to do, I love that. After the kids go to bed, you chop up your stuff, and the next morning or afternoon, you put it in a pan or a crock pot or Instapot. I love it. Even. And I love that I'm looking at this like I can feed my three-year-old this, which oh, is important. Totally, <laughs> totally. Yes. So I uh, use my food processor. You'll notice that these vegetables are very finely chopped yes, because they I are. use my food processor. That's amazing. Because okay. it makes it fast, fast, fast. Well, and you don't have to get a lot. Kids won't even notice them then. Yes. yes. Yeah. A lot less noticeable. That's actually such a good point. Right? Wow. Well, like, right. I have a little sneak attack with You veggies. can almost yeah. puree them and they would eat it. Oh my gosh. It's okay. That's good flavors to flavors and the colors and all the good things. So the first thing you're going to do is throw in your onions, your carrots, and your red bell peppers okay. into the oh, pot. Okay. You're putting Lindsay to work. And celery. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so and then just toss it right in. Toss it right like, in. I don't want to mess this up. The recipe says to add a little bit of the broth with it. Okay. And then you can saute it a little bit and we've got a spoon but that's okay I'll grab one and then you're gonna mix this up okay. and like grab can I one. use yeah, this beautiful spoon yes, okay you can use do that, that. that's up. actually a oh, great and do we idea need a little broth you said and you're gonna add a little bit of broth to it just to saute it we okay. don't have the stove on but that's okay, that's okay. we're gonna pretend, pretend. pretend. Yes. yes indeed broth you're using that is just plain okay. old veggie broth okay we don't use animal products in our home and my husband who is a firefighter even has the guys at his work Doing this. I love that. He has we been cooking they, for them and they love the food. But here's the thing you feel better. Yeah, you that's do. The thing. It's you like it have tastes more good. Energy. You, you feel good. You feel amazing. Yes. You can overeat and still feel great. Yes. It's, it's super awesome. I'm all about so it. So then we're going to add one can of beans that okay. have been um, drained and okay. rinsed. Okay, of course, you like you the northern beans for this. Now, any white bean will any work. Any white bean's fine. Okay. Any white bean. Um, I've used my acopa. I've used cannellini. These are Great Northern. So, and then okay. this is the same thing, another can of beans pureed with a cup of the broth. Ooh, Ooh, that's that like that is a yeah. thickener. Yes. Wow, I you always wondered it, how you did that. You like, make it yummy, no yummy cream. No yes. creams, no, no butter, nothing that you don't need. Okay, okay let's grab the corn. Okay. Next, okay. In. Look at these beautiful colors. A whole yeah, cup wow, of corn. This is really pretty. Yes. And you've got your orange and your red and your green yeah. and your yellow, and it's so festive. Then, this is where you may or may not want to include. Okay, this is an optional. Even though this is I mild. Yeah. <laughs> this is mild. The last time I made this, it was a little bit spicy, so I'm only going to use half a can this okay. time because it really did come across a little bit of a kick to it, and you'll notice it when you taste it today. Yeah. So then we're going to add garlic. Okay. So if you like the kick, yeah. and you don't have a three-year-old, right? Well, and what I'll do a lot it. of times is I'll make it without and then just put some in my own personal oh, bowl. Smart. That's like my style now with there my go. That's she's, how I did so it there for you years. Can get around it. <laughs> Before my husband went this way of eating, I would cook the food and then add his chicken or meat after oh. I served myself. Oh, but now smart. he's moved your direction. Totally. He I love you fully you converted he's, him. He's converting <laughs> everyone else, too, around him, which is, I, I think, amazing. That is amazing. A nutritional yeast will be your next one. Have you ever cooked with nutritional 
no, what is this too? It is I'm a not. vegan hack okay. that makes it really cheesy, kind of nutty. Ooh. It's a lot of the recipes in the book call for this. Is this like this replacing just, seasoning or what it's is it? a lot of seasoning. Okay. It really like brings up the flavor of okay. the food. It just Ada, where do I get that? Any grocery store. Any grocery store. Okay. You can buy okay. it in bulk. You can buy it at like Winco or, or Whole Foods. You can buy it any of the any of the regular Smiths is where I usually shop. Okay, good. Okay, then we're gonna add two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Yum, we love cilantro. One of my favorite. Oh yes. Yeah. So good. And then, huh, silly me, I forgot to bring the spices, and all I could find in your cupboard was cumin. Oh, ooh. But the recipe calls for a little bit of chili powder, cumin, okay. and coriander. Okay. So you may also want to adjust that according to your flavors. To the spice level. Yeah, okay. To, good to know. And then salt and pepper can yes. be served on the side. This looks so There tasty. is sodium not only in the beans but also in the broth. But everything so, in there good for you. Yes. You may not need to 100%. add that salt. Yes. Hundred percent. Okay. So Lindsay, I want so you to beautiful. take a little bite. Oh, yeah. Gladly. Well, I tell everybody yes. that if you would like this recipe, of course, go to our website because Ada nice enough to share it with us. But what you really need is the book, and it's on sale for the holidays right now. Turn yes. to health guru. Where yes. can people get the book? On Amazon, actually. They can go to my website. There's a quick link to order it on Amazon, or you can just go right to Amazon and order it. It's on sale right now, $10 off. And if you or someone you know is looking to go whole food plant-based for 2024 and really get their health in gear, I would recommend this. Lentil chili, black bean so soup. So good. What do you think? Would your kids eat it? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I don't want to stop done. eating it. I might have to take it home. One you got to, to go to One hot meal. Yes. That's so easy. So Ava, good. You. You're thank welcome. Thank you. Absolutely.